New at 6, the sale is going digital. That's the word from the organizers of the YMBL Livestock and Poultry Show. But contestants and their families aren't too happy about this switch. They're afraid they won't be able to bring home the bacon and it may affect their opportunities to show in the future. 12 News reporter Christiana Ramos went to the show barns to learn more. Every year, YMBL hosts a livestock show and auction. This year, they're back on after COVID paused 2020 showing, but now they're online, leaving some feeling like students will lose out on opportunities. Dylan Diaz is a livestock shower for Beaumont FFA. He's raised Rayburn from a 600 pound calf to a full grown 1,353 pound steer. It took a lot of work, time and money to show Rayburn off in contests. The thing I love most is just the relationship you, you know, develop with that calf and how much they rely on you every single day, twice a day. This year will be Dylan's first and last year participating in the Beaumont Livestock Auction. The event was moved online due to COVID-19 concerns. I feel kind of cheated that, you know, I put all my time and effort and money and just everything into it and I'm just not going to be able to get the whole thing. And going to miss out on a lot of on a big part of it, really. Joshua May has been a part of the showing business for 20 years. When he heard the auction was being moved online, he says he was heartbroken. I don't think that they actually know the amount of money that it takes to do what these kids do. It costs roughly 17 to $1,800 a year to raise livestock. Joshua says he's reached out to YMBL for an explanation, but they haven't explained to the kids or parents why the event was moved online compared to other in-person events. My main frustration is we don't know why. To sign up for the auctions this year, you have to make an account through YMBL's website. Joshua says some people won't want to go through this long process unless they know a shower personally. But what about the kids that don't have those connections? They're liable to get nothing. Whereas at a live auction, you're standing in front of them. Somebody has to bid. Although it's too late to make changes this year, Joshua hopes for the best. The online livestock auction will begin tomorrow, April 1st at 8 a.m. and go through April 3rd. You can find the link on the YMBL website. Christiana Ramos, 12 News.